Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture three of AS10 revised property plan and equipment. Uh, whatever points related to recognition of asset and cost model for valuation of assets we studied in the last lecture, lecture number two. Based on that, we are going to study the practical questions today. So I would request all of you that first you go through that lecture two once again so that you understand which things are to be included in the cost, which things are not to be included in the cost, then only will you be able to understand today's lecture. It is completely based on lecture to what we did yesterday. Take out your study material, question number two, take out your notebooks, let us start solving it. Z Limited is installing a new plant at its production facility. It's installing a new plant means buying or maybe constructing, any of the things are possible. It has incurred these costs. Now, all this we studied in the last lecture. What are to be included in the cost and what are not to be included in the cost? Cost of plant purchase itself will be included. Cost as per the supplier's invoice plus taxes we discussed. Taxes will also be included if they are non-refundable. Here we assume they are non-refundable. So, this item will be included. Initial delivery and handling costs we discussed in the last lecture. They are to be included. I gave example also. Initial delivery is to be done. After it reaches at your side, you need to handle it, take care of it until the construction begins. Cost of preparing the site will also be included. Consultants used for advice in the acquisition of plant. Okay, consultants used for advice in the construction of plant will also be included. These are technicians. Interest charges paid to the supplier for deferred credit will not be included. It is to be taken as per AS 26. Okay. In as if it is mentioned in the question that as per AS 26 conditions it is included, then only you act. I repeat, if it is mentioned in the question that as per AS 26 borrowing cost, it is to be included or allowed to be included, then only you add it. Otherwise, not. Present value of estimated dismantling cost to be incurred after seven years. Present value of that dismantling cost we discussed in the Theoretical lecture yesterday, they are to be included. Operating losses are not to be included. These two things are not to be included. Operating losses we discussed yesterday before the commercial production begins. It is your loss, you will debit it to PL account, not to be included. Advise Z Limited on the costs which can be capitalized in accordance with AS10 grid. Compute the cost of plant. So, all of you make this format of two columns, particulars, and amount. Okay, pause the video and make this format. Okay, I hope everyone is done with it. You can pause the video and make it. So first, cost of plant itself will be included. That is 25 lakhs. Then, initial delivery and handling costs will be included. That is 2 lakhs. Then, Cost of site preparation will be included, that is 6 lakhs. Then consultants used for advice in acquisition of asset will be included, that is 7 lakhs. Then interest charges paid to supply for deferred credit not to be included as I told you in accordance with AS 26 only we have to include it so if it is mentioned add it otherwise you don't add it so not, a, not allowed or not included then present value of estimated dis dismantling costs that also will be included 3 lakhs and operating losses before commercial production is not to be included that is nil not to be included okay so what is the total cost that we will have add it everyone 25 lakhs plus 2 lakhs plus 6 lakhs plus 7 lakhs plus 3 lakhs that is 
43 lakhs. 43 lakhs will be the total cost of the sale. Okay. So if you are clear with yesterday's theory part, then only you'll be able to follow these things. Look at question number three. On December 1, 2018, index company, aid company purchased rupees 4 lakhs worth of land for a factory site. Now, index company raised means demolished. Okay, raised here means demolished. Razor chalata and demolished. An old building on the property. They destroyed the old building and sold the materials it salvaged from the demolition. Index incurred additional costs and realized salvage proceeds during December 2018 as follows. So, 4 lakhs, first of all, we will input in the cost. Thereafter, demolition of old building costed 50,000 will be added. Legal fees for purchase contract and recording ownership, legal fees is to be added. Title guarantee insurance to get the ownership, you have to pay the insurance guarantee, that also you have to add. And proceeds from sale of salvage materials, we will minus. Rather, from here, we will minus it. Okay, because 50,000, we incurred the cost in demolishing the old building. That we sold for scrap of 8,000. So, net cost to us is only 42,000. In its December 31, 2018 balance sheet, index company should report how much balance in the land account. So, let us do it as we did the previous one. First, cost of land 4 lakhs. All of you read in the notebooks, cost of land 4 lakhs. You can pause the video and make that columns, okay? Then demolition of old building 50,000 minus that, okay? Demolition of old building in bracket net of scrap. So that will be 50,000 minus 8,000, that is 42,000. Then legal fees for purchase contract and recording ownership 10,000. Legal fees for purchase contract and recording ownership 10,000. Then title guarantee insurance 12,000. That's it. So total would come to total cost 4 lakhs plus 42,000 plus 10,000. Plus 12,000, that is 4 lakh 64,000. Okay, final answer 4 lakh 64,000. Now, look at question number 4, be it This is an important question where we have to give the reasons also for including or not including. On 1st October 2018, Why Limited began the construction of a new factory. This is a self constructed factory. Cost relating to the factory are as follows. Purchase of land will be included. Okay. Cost of dismantling existing structure on the site will be included. Then purchase of material to construct the factory will be included. Employment costs will be included. Production over its directly related to the construction will be included. General administration overheads won't be included. Architects and consultation fees directly related to the construction will be included. General administration overheads we studied yesterday, it won't be included. It is not a directly attributable cost. Okay. Purchase of land, cost of dismantling, purchase of material to construct, employment costs, these all are directly attributable costs. Okay. Cost of relocating the staff who are to the work at new factory won't be included. Okay, relocating the staff won't be included. That is also, we studied in theory yesterday, that if you relocate the uh, site from one place to another, that cost of relocating won't be included. You can refer to that yesterday's theory. Cost relating to the formal opening of the factory 200 will be included. Formal opening means it is your uh, basic directly attributable cost that is to be included. Interest on loan to partly Finance factories construction per annum. As per AS 26, if it is allowed, it will be included. Otherwise, not. We'll have to see that. Some adjustments are given. So, I keep it pending. Plant and machinery purchase for use in the factory is a directly attributable cost will be included. Now, the factory took 8 months. Okay, the factory took 8 months to construct. Not contract, make it to construct. 
It took eight months to construct the factory and was brought into use on 30th June. So this information is given from 1st October. So 1st October onwards you count till June. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Nine months. Okay. The factory was brought into use on 30th June but it was constructed in eight months. Means by 31st of May the factory was constructed. Eight months means by 31st of May factory was constructed but we brought it to use on 30th June. The employment costs, which employment costs these ones? The employment cost that is what amount? 89. Okay. Now these are for 9 months up to 30th June. We cannot include it up to 9 months because the construction took only 8 months. So 8 months amount can be included. So here only 8 months out of 9 months amount is to be included. Because construction was completed in 8 months, 1 month it was lying idle. That cost of lying idle cannot be included. The production overheads, which production overheads now they are talking about these ones. See, production overheads. Now they are talking about that. Okay. What is given about production overheads? Were incurred in the eight months ended on 31st May 2019. They included an abnormal cost of 2 lakh to be excluded. We discussed yesterday abnormal costs are our loss. We have to directly debit them to PL account. This we studied in yesterday's theory. So caused by the need to rectify the damage caused by a gas leak. That is not to be included. So in this production, overheads we will exclude. Okay, we will exclude abnormal cost. Now abnormal cost is 2 lakhs and here the figures are given in thousands. So if you cancel 3 zeros, thousands, then it would be how many thousands? 2 lakhs would be equal to 200 thousands. That amount is to be excluded. Okay. Y Limited received a loan of 120 lakhs on 1st October 2018. The building, now see here it's given to you. The building meets the definition of qualifying an asset in accordance with, make it AS26. Borrowing cost. I told you if it is allowed as per AS26, you will include it. Otherwise, not. So here it is allowed as per AS26. Therefore, it will be included. Okay. This amount will be included because it is allowed as per AS26. The loan carries interest rate of 10% per annum. Here 1200 means we don't have to include whole year's interest. Okay, 8 months only. We have to include but only 8 months. And this is, you know, per annum. So we have to find out 1200 into 8 by 12. Only 800 rupees will be included. Okay, before the factory begins, only pre-construction interest cost can be included. Otherwise, not. Determine the cost of asset to be included in the balance sheet upon initial recognition. Now this is important over here. What is asked? Giving reasons. So in our statement, we will make one more column of giving reasons for the inclusion or exclusion of cost. So make three columns in this solution. Particulars, amount and reasons. Reasons are also to be stated. Pause the video and make these columns. I hope you all are done with it. So let us start with it. Be attentive. First, first is purchase of the land. So I'll fill it on. Purchase of land. Amount is 10,000. Okay. Amount is 10. The rupees are given in thousands. So 10,000 will be included. Reason write down base element. It is a base element of initial cost of PPE. Basic element is purchase of land. Without that, you cannot construct anything. So base element will be included. Then cost of dismantling the existing structure of site. So cost of dismantling. Okay, what is the amount? 500. That is to be included. Okay, cost of dismantling is to be included. It is to be capitalized. Now specifically what we studied was as per para capitalized. As per para 9.4 of AS10. So that is the reason you include here. That what we studied yesterday was as per Para 9.4. Then after cost of dismantling, purchase of material to construct the factory. Okay, purchase of material to construct the factory amount is 6000. That will also be included. It's a directly attributable cost. Maximum things will come under this category. Directly attributable cost. Employment costs we have, but as per adjustment one, we have to consider it. So employment costs. Okay, 8 months out of 9 months. So, 1800 into 8 by 9. 1800 
into 8 out of 9 months. Okay, so 1800 into 8 by 9 will come to 1600. Check it in calculator, everyone. Reason directly attributable cost. Then after employment costs, production overheads will also be included, but abnormal we have to exclude. Okay, so net of abnormal 1200 minus 200,000. Production overheads net of abnormal cost. So amount will be 1200 minus 200 abnormal, that is 1000. Directly attributable cost. Then after production overheads, we have general administration overheads are not to be included. General administration overheads not included. Reason? Reason you'll write not directly attributable cost. You can see in the theory we studied yesterday, it was mentioned not directly attributable cost. <clears throat> then next we have architects and consultants fees will be included 400. Architect and consultants fees 400 directly attributable cost. Then after architect and consultants fees we have Cost of relocating the staff will not be included. Cost of relocating the staff not included. Reason same not directly attributable cost. Then after cost of relocating, cost of formal opening of factory 200 is to be included. Cost of formal opening of factory amount is 200 that will be included directly attributable cost then interest on loan okay as per AS10 we have to AS26 we have to include it pre-construction is to be included but eight months only this is per annum so interest on loan 1200 into 8 by 12 only eight months amount is to be included that comes to 800 as per AS26, it is allowed. So it is included. Then, in accordance with AS26, we have included. And plant and machinery purchase for use will be included. Plant and machinery purchase for use in factory, that is 6000 directly attributable cost. Okay, so total can be done now. Do it everyone. 10,000 plus 500 plus 6,000 plus 1,600 plus 1,000 plus 400 plus 200 plus 800 plus 6,000. That comes to 26,500. That is the total cost to be taken in consideration. Okay, so this is very important from exam point of view. Any in MCQ they can ask you any of these amounts and you have to identify whether they are included or not. Last one more question for today's lecture. Look at question number five. Nifty Limited purchased a machine costing rupees one lakh twenty five thousand for its manufacturing operation and paid shipping cost of rupees twenty thousand. We studied yesterday shipping cost, import duties, etc. to be added. But Nifty spent an additional amount of 10,000. Even this we studied for testing and preparing the machine will also be included. Minus scrap value of that product which is not successful. We studied this yesterday. You can refer to the theory. So what amount should Nifty record as a cost of machine? Total of all the three. Write down. Purchase price of machine. That is 1,25,000. Then shipping cost. 20,000. Then testing and preparation of preparation of machine cost. That is ten thousand. That will also be included. So total of all the three. What would be the total cost? One twenty-five plus twenty. One forty-five plus ten. One lakh fifty-five thousand. That is the total cost of the machine. Okay. So out of all your practical questions at the end of your template, these questions relate to the cost model what we studied yesterday in AS10. 
next we will study in the further lecture further part of the lectures the remaining part remaining part of as 26 the revaluation model depreciation how it is to be charged that all will study in the coming lecture that'll be all for today bye everyone take care see you in the next lecture